Welcome to 22nd of December's Godly Blessing. Supreme God Father wants us to become that bead which can be put into that rosary. Now in a rosary you see different beads and different beads are symbols, actual symbols of souls. Those divine souls who have achieved same kind of thinking pattern, same form of habits, same kind of activities. And that's where divinity comes in as the prime activity and prime thinking and prime way of doing everything. So that's why God over here says that it's important to be content with the self and to make others content. How do we do that is what we're going to explore in this beautiful Vartan. Let's understand this. God says, may you be an incognito effort maker. Somebody who doesn't have to show off. Incognito means somebody who's not seen doing any kind of effort. No laurels no name and fame, no epitaph in the end saying that oh this person was loved by all. So God says may you be an incognito effort maker and remain constantly content and make others content when forming relationships and connection with others. First is be content and then make others content. So God says the confluence age is the age of contentment that means where the whole world is running towards name, fame, financial gains and mostly to greed and comparison and jealousy. That's where God comes and he says that my plan is this. And what is that plan is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. That is plan. When we say man proposes and God disposes, the real essence is learned in Brahma Kumaris. But what exactly is God going to dispose of for the whole world and what human beings are planning? even planning to go to Mars and live on Mars, think about it, whether that's God's plan or human plan. So God then says, it's an age of contentment, you don't need to go over there. If you are unable to remain content at the confluence age, then when would you be content? This is the time when the Supreme Creator comes and reveals, this is the time of revelations, when He comes and reveals the whole act, His act, the whole world's act, and what is going to happen to this whole drama. When you know the secret of what is going to happen to the whole drama, then you plan out your own drama, your own acting on the basis of that. Wouldn't you do that? How would you behave? How do you act? How would you do your karmas when the conference stage or the end of the time of drama is coming? How will you be? Will you take up the part or the role of a hero? Or you will take up the other side? That is the villain. Because at the end of any drama, you'll find there's a hero and there's a villain and then there's a fight. But here the fight is within us. So let's explore further ahead. God says, Therefore, let there not be any type of conflict in yourself. Conflict about whether I should use divine qualities, whether I should use greed, whether I should be a little jealous, or whether I should be a little selfish during this time, or whether I should be somebody who's loving everybody caring, kind to everyone. So that's a choice which should not be creating any kind of conflict within you. In yourself and let there be no conflict when in contact with others. Why they are acting like this? Why are they behaving like this? Why, this? why did this person behave like this with me? All those questions are already answered for you and me. Provided you have done the seven day course and you are learning everyday spiritual learning. From Ramakumaris, you'll understand what exactly does that mean. To be so content, it's nothing new. That person did the same thing. And why is he doing or is she doing the same thing again? Is what we learn from Ramakumaris. Then God says, a rosary is created when one bead comes into contact with another. Isn't that so? The beads are supposed to be completely in connection with the other bead. Then only the rosary is complete. Therefore, when forming relationships and connection with others, now this is the bead that you are as a soul and I am as a soul, are supposed to be close-knit in relationships and connections in terms of divine habits, divine thinking and divine activities. Not the only way. Then God says, remain content and make others content, for only then will you become a bead of the rosary. Only then will you become a bead of the rosary. A family means those who remain constantly content 
and make others content that is how and that is the method of becoming a family member of divine souls divine beings or those souls who are working towards attaining divinity to know more about this you can come over and learn the secrets of this bead theory which we have learned right now and what exactly are those beads and how do those beads come into a rosary for more information to visit brahma kumaris with this om shanti